it can be hard to squeeze in a full body workout at the gym. So here are a few complex moves that'll get you fit in no time. Join Class Fit Sugar and celebrity trainer Holly Perkins in this 10 minute workout. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I'm here with Z and Lexi, and we're gonna jump right in. You're going to want a set of dumbbells, either three or five pounds, but for this first exercise, you don't need them, so just keep them nearby. First exercise is called the matrix. Start with your feet together. We're gonna to go through it slow the first or second time, and then we'll pick up the pace. So we just come into a close squat, then kick front, take it to a wide squat, step together. Same thing with the other leg. Squat, kick front, wide squat, step together. Let's repeat. Kick front, wide squat, step together. Beautiful. Front kick, wide squat, step together. And let's just continue repeating. Front kick, wide squat, step together. Beautiful. How are you guys doing? Awesome. This is such a great full body workout. Move. I love front it. Front kick, step together. Beautiful. A little bit more here. Keep that movement big. And again, I love this front kick. I don't know why, it just feels so good to me. <laughs> and the up and down movement really burns those calories, gets your heart rate going. Yep. So, so good. Step <laughs> together, and last one right here. Wide squat, step together. We're gonna move on. Let's grab those dumbbells. Next exercise, this is called hip shifter. Bring your arms up in front. We're gonna hold them here if they don't move. Bring your feet together, drop down a little low. It's gonna be a side leg lift, right up to the side. Do that exactly again, right here for 30 seconds. We're just lifting one leg, and I want you to really squeeze through that hip. Those arms are getting that nice isometric contraction. Yep. So you get some good tone through the front of the shoulders. Squeeze it. Woo! How you guys doing? Good. Lexi, how you doing back there? I'm getting through it. <laughs> one more. Same thing on the other side. Woo. We're just gonna lift and bring it down. Good job. Keeping those arms there. So now you're really gonna feel those arms, right? Good. What's harder for you guys, the arms or the legs? I, I don't know. Arms. I can't even tell at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole body workout. That's good. Good. Hang in there. Use those abs. Squeeze the hips. We just got a few more. Keep those arms up. Abs tight. One more, here we go, last one. And relax Woo! down, fantastic. And we're gonna hold on to those dumbbells, bring your feet together, and we're gonna move into a dumbbell fly. So, dumbbells are right in front of your knees, shoulders rolled back, and let's just open out to the side to a fly, and down, perfect. We got one minute. Now, these are great, these are great. I love these, because these are so good for the shoulders and the back. Yep. How's it feel? Feels great. So this is one of those exercises, you can use three or five pounds pretty comfortably. If you're a little more advanced, try eight pounds. Just make sure you keep your abs nice and tight. Squeeze to the back of the shoulders. Mm -hmm. I love this one. There's so many exercises I love. <laughs> you're gonna get sick of me saying that. <laughs> and when you're doing these, you really wanna squeeze your back so you can almost hold a pencil in there once you squeeze up top. So squeeze those shoulder blades together. Really tight. activate those muscles. Beautiful, couple more. Yep. Okay, one more. And relax it down, fantastic. Let's put those dumbbells down. We're gonna go back to the top and we're gonna repeat those first three exercises. So we're back to the beginning, we're going back to the matrix exercise. Dumbbells down, feet together, you guys ready? Yeah. So it's a narrow squat with a front kick, here we go. Front kick, side squat, Step together, repeat. Front kick, side squat, step together. Beautiful, and let's just keep that up. Step together, front kick, side squat, step together. Beautiful, how are those tushes feeling? Great. <laughs> you can barely feel mine, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my job then. Front kick, side squat, step together, keep it up. Keep those abs tight. Keep that kick nice and high. Sit that butt down for a nice deep squat. And step together, let's do one more round. Kick, step together, other side. Kick, and relax. Grab the dumbbells, we're moving on to that hip shifter. So we're holding the dumbbells right up in front, try to keep the upper arm parallel to the ground. Soften down into your knees, and that left leg is coming up 
and down. Good. Up and down. Squeeze through your hip. We got 30 seconds here. Stand super tall. Show me your muscles. Power up those arms. Lexi, how are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> are you breathless? A little bit. Good. Squeeze through the butt. Couple seconds here. One more. And relax. Don't change your arms. Let's just go to that other side. Right leg up and down. Squeeze. Nice. How are we doing? Your Not arms. Not even answering. What's that? No answer. <laughs> Your arms are gonna look great, okay? So just remember, when it gets uncomfortable, remember your motivation. It's gonna change the way your arms look and function. Squeeze it. Squeeze those abs, two more. One more, and relax. Feet together, abs in, bring the dumbbells in front of your knees, coming out to that wide fly. Take it out, and show me your wings. Squeeze. So last round, Z talked about squeezing those shoulder blades together. Mm -hmm. That's a great way to really focus the work and get the most out of your exercise. Looks good. I love this move. I know, I do too. It's good for your back. It's gonna make you look great, but it's also good to keep your back nice and strong. Mm -hmm. And for that posture. Yep. We all sit so much in the car, at our computers. This is a great one. Perfect, nice and strong, use those arms. Good, we're almost there. Just a few more. Abs tight. Good, let's do three more. There's one, two, one more, and relax, fantastic. Okay, so we're going down onto the ground. You're going to want your dumbbells, have them nearby. Come on to your back, knees bent, feet on the floor. Take your dumbbells directly over your chest and relax your shoulders away from your ears. From here, I want you to draw inward to your abs, Bring your knees over your hips and your feet directly out from your knees, so you have 90-90. From here, it's just a basic fly, opening and closing. We got one minute, okay? Now this is a place where you need to choose the dumbbell weight that works for you. How does this feel for you guys? Great. It's good. Since we're doing it for a full minute, remember what I said before. It's virtually impossible to bulk up your muscles because we're doing this for a minute. Mm -hmm. So you can challenge yourself a little bit. Don't be afraid of those five pound dumbbells. If this is easy, it's easy. And you need to pick up a heavier dumbbell. And this is a great chest core combo workout. Yep. Keep those knees directly over your hips. There's such a tendency to pull them in, but we want them away so that your abs are fully engaged and you get that core training. Perfect. Lexi, how are you feeling? Not bad. <laughs> okay. You're gonna feel this in your arms also. What I like about a dumbbell fly is yes, it hits your chest and that whole area, but it also hits into the front angle of the bicep, so you get a nice looking arm from this as well. Good, just a few more. And let's do two more. One more. And relax, feet down. You can go ahead and put your dumbbells to the side. We're gonna stay on our back and we're gonna go into what's called a lifted bicycle. So you're going to contract through your abs, lift your shoulders up off the ground, and let your hands float over the ground. From here, bring your knees in towards your chest. You're gonna extend one leg out and switch. And we just hold here. So your challenge is to really push out through the feet while you're simultaneously bringing the knee in. And breathe, really push out. Keep those legs close to the ground. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, if that's too much, just take your legs to a greater angle. Breathe. So easy to hold your breath here. So we just want to try to breathe and let's just do a couple more for four, three, two, and relax. And relax it down, fantastic. Okay, so you're gonna bring your hands towards your forehead just so that it's not holding on to anything. Draw those abs in super, super tight. Now, bring your legs up over you. There is a modification. You can either do this with a straight leg or a slightly bent leg. We're gonna drop one leg down to the ground other, and bring it back up, other leg. So we're alternating individually, one leg at a time. You find the position of that knee. If it feels good to you have a nice long leg, keep that knee straight. That increases the load on your core. And if you want just a little bit of a modification, either 
for flexibility in the hamstrings or if your lower back is a little tight, you just bend your knees a little tiny bit. How's that feel, guys? Feels good. Draw those abs in super tight. Draw them in. Be sure that there's no movement under your lower back. You want your abs to be holding strong so that that lower spine doesn't change. A couple more. And let's do two more right here. One more and relax. Let's just bring the knees into the chest for just a gentle stretch for one second. And then let's just sit up. Nice job. I'll fill this one tomorrow. <laughs> I can definitely feel my heart rate. Awesome. Be sure to check out the rest of our class Fit Sugar workouts with Holly on Fit Sugar TV. See you next time. Bye.